Okay, today we're going to be doing a video on this Atesia lawnmower, and um, I just acquired this here not long ago, and uh, it's quite an interesting machine. Uh, this is a made in France machine, and it uh, has a lot of unique features that you normally don't see. Um, there are actually no dealers here in the U.S., and the closest I had found in Canada, and so uh, this machine was imported to the XL Industries factory here in Kansas. And um, they would like to go through mowers and stuff and look at their designs and uh, compare them to what they sell. So uh, that's where this mower came from. And uh, this mower has 80 hours on it, which makes it about brand new. And uh, we're going to go over some of the features it has and just kind of do a walk around and uh, just kind of look it over. And before we get started here right quick, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the like button and uh, leave a comment down below. Okay, we'll get started here by getting the hood opened up on it. Uh, this is the most annoying thing on this machine is um, you have to use a coin or a screwdriver to open the hood, which I don't know why they went with that. It works good, but uh, it's a little bit of annoying. Now, this is a hydraulic drive lawnmower. It has two hydraulic motors for each back wheel, so that's why it has the uh, hydraulic cooler right here. And uh, the engine is under this plastic cover, which seems to me like a uh, makes it a real pain to work on. But they were really thinking ahead on this, and you can pull this oil cooler out, and it lifts up, up out of your way. And then this cover here, it folds up, and then there's your engine. And this cover easily comes off by uh, pushing on those clips right there. And uh, you just have that off in a couple seconds. So that's really nice if you need to do any maintenance or clean it or any work on this. It makes it real easy to uh, get to. Now uh, this runs a 23 horse uh, Briggs Vanguard commercial engine. And uh, as you can see by the engine, it's really clean and uh, it's still, like I said earlier, only has 80 hours and it's about new. And again, you look at this and you think it would be really hard to work on because your oil filter is down in there. But again, this company really seemed like they were thinking when it comes to this stuff. And you just have uh, two screws, one here and then one there. And then you can just loosen these screws up here in the dash. And uh, this side panel comes off. The other side panel, same way, two screws, and it comes off. And it really makes it easy to uh, get to everything. And just the whole engine is completely open with those panels taken off. You can get up there to the steering, all the wiring, just super easy. And uh, it was a really good design they had. So I'm going to go ahead and close this back up. There you go, the hood's latched. And on the sides here, it has these plastic panels. And um, it has the hand knobs here. But this one here is missing. They replaced it with a regular nut. So that's really too bad that's missing. But you take out those two nuts in this whole side panel. It comes off, you can get to everything underneath. And uh, up here, onto the seat, you fold this forward. It has a lock right here, so the seat cannot be, cannot fall back down. And um, it has a push button right here, and this raises up. And this is kind of hard to do here with one hand. Then it has a prop right here that you can put up, if I can find the hole that it goes in. And then with that raised up there, then that, uh, that makes it so you can get to your battery. And um, I like how this is a full-sized uh, car battery. Don't mess with those uh, small uh, mower batteries that never hold a charge. And um, on this side here, you have your hydraulic reservoir, and then on the opposite side here, you have your uh, gas tank. 
And uh, again, everything's super easy to get to. There's your uh, filter for your hydraulic system. And uh, I don't know if you can see this right down here is all of your fuses and stuff like that's easy to get to. Okay, we got the side panel here taken off. And as you can see, it's uh, really easy to get to everything here. The um, It has hydraulic ports right there that the grass catcher is hooked up to. And uh, you can see the belt. It's a, it is a uh, toothed belt. It's because this is a timed mower deck. It has uh, two blades and uh, they overlap several inches. And um, they said that gives the uh, mower deck more suction and uh, it helps with the grass into the bagger. And uh, so it's interesting having a toothed belt like that. And uh, it looks like it's a really heavy belt and I think it should last you for quite some time. Another interesting thing is with this mower, the uh, mower deck is actually plastic. And I'm not sure what kind of plastic it is, but it seems really stout and uh, really hard. And uh, they advertise this mower being able to mow uh, any kind of wet grass. And they said you can even go out and mow in the rain with it. And um, they said it will not plug up and it will not rest out. And uh, like this uh, green tube frame all the way around. And all the metal, they said, is all the rust-proof metal. And um, they said the mower will not rest out mowing in the rain and stuff like that. So that's really interesting. Um, here in the U.S., you really don't have a trouble with that, you know, with mowing in the rain. But I know in Europe and stuff, they're a lot wider than what we are. So yeah, I guess it makes sense. On this side here, we have your uh, hydrostat pedals, forward and reverse. And um, right here are your uh, two levers to uh, control the grass catcher on your uh, raising and then dumping. And uh, this lever here be parking brake. And the lever here on the opposite side is your deck lift. That's one thing that's a little bit disappointing is I wish this had a hydraulic deck lift, but it does not. And then up here on the controls, um, if I didn't mention it before, the steering is power steering. It's hydraulic and it steers super easy. And um, here we have your standard throttle choke and um, you have your blinkers right here and then up here is your flashers which is kind of interesting and um, this here has something to do with the differential lock I'm not overly sure I need to read more up on that and then this here is your blade engagement which to be honest I don't like that too much because it's easy to accidentally bump the blades on. It's not really uh, too safe, I don't think. Usually on mowers here in the U.S. and stuff, they have a toggle switch that is locked. And you have to pick up on it to turn the blades on. Now let me go ahead and turn the key on. And you have your digital screen right here. I don't know, shift cameras picking that up. But we have 81. 0.8 hours. This had 80 hours when we bought it, and I've uh, put a couple hours on mowing. And uh, this circle around here, that's your fuel gauge. And uh, has other lights here, like your oil light and stuff's on, because it's not started yet. And then my favorite button right here is the horn. And this is also your headlight switch. And this has three different settings on headlights, which is, again, kind of interesting. Normally, just have one setting on mowers. Then you have this switch right here. You can rotate this, and that disconnects the battery. And uh, you turn the key on, nothing comes on, nothing works. Just like you unplug the battery, flip it back, and then it's back on. And uh, here on this side, we also got the paneling off. And again, you can see another hydraulic port. And, uh, and again, everything's easy to get to, all the belts and everything like that. So now here we'll talk about the bagger. It's probably what everyone's come here to see. And uh, this is a high lift bagger. And uh, it is hydraulic powered. Has a cylinder here on both sides. And uh, it has a cylinder right here on both sides to uh, dump it. And a lot of high lift grass catchers 
they're set up to uh, when they lift up, when they get to full height, they dump, and uh, you can't dump it at a lower height. But this one here, you can dump it at any height. You don't even have to raise it up if you don't want to. And you can just uh, dump it right here on the ground, or you can raise it full height, which is uh, makes it a lot more convenient than here on this side here. It has this cover, which just will come off if you want to. And uh, when I bought this, they said the bag is actually uh, fairly new. They bought it not long ago and had it put on. So it has an almost new bag. Uh, let me go ahead and get this started and I'll get it raised up and uh, we can take a look at it. Okay, that's it there, lifted this full height. This five foot 10 inches is what it can dump over the side of. And as you can see here, it has a, a uh, flap here that folds up to uh, help keep the grass clippings from dumping back onto you when you're on the machine. Then it has this plastic shield right here and uh, that keeps the grass clippings from wanting to dump out onto you when you're on the machine. And it has right here a cylinder lock. It has one here for both sides, which is handy if you're working on it and you have it raised up in the air. And then right here on the back end, as you can see, it has a hydraulic wheel motor for each back wheel. And uh, there's your back side of the deck. And that's what the uh, bag your seats up against and then you can see your blades right down inside there and uh, again with the bag of A's up it's really easy to uh, get to everything back here and uh, really easy to work on it and up here we have your cereal plate it's all in French and then your made in France sticker and so, uh, if I didn't say earlier, this is a uh, 2011 year model. Okay, so I'm going to go put these side panels back on, and uh, we'll go out and see how it mows.
Okay, one more thing I had forgotten to mention about this mower. I said it had the hydraulic steering, but uh, I forgot to mention how quick this mower steers. And as you can see, the uh, see the front wheel right there on uh, this here straight. And then uh, just a half turn with steering wheel. And it's as far as I go left. And then a half turn to the right. And this mower steers so insanely sharp. You actually have to be careful using it because it steers so quick. Anyway, though, that makes it really nice to get around in. Makes it really quick mowing. And uh, it's kind of a another unique feature of this mower is on how quick it steers. Okay, that's probably going to do here for this video. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of the features of this mower because I've never seen a mower like this. And uh, it's really quite interesting that one actually wound up here in Miller, Kansas. So uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And hit the notification bell so you're notified when new videos are posted. I have a lot more stuff coming out. And also don't forget to uh, give the video a thumbs up. And leave comments down below like what you have to say. And I appreciate you guys watching.